What was the typical lifespan of dinosaurs? The lifespan has been estimated at 75 to 300 years. Such estimates are educated guesses. From examination of the microstructure of dinosaur bones. Scientists have inferred that dinosaurs matured slowly and probably had proportionately long lifespans. What are the components of the circulatory system? The components of the circulatory system are vessels, heart, and blood. The three types of vessels in a closed circulatory system are arteries, capillaries, and veins. Arteries transport blood away from the heart to the various organs in the body. Veins return blood to the heart after it circulates through the body. Capillaries form an elaborate network of tiny vessels that convey blood between arteries and veins. What is speciation? Speciation is the process by which new species are formed. This occurs when populations become separated from the rest of the species. At this point the isolated group will respond independently to natural selection until the population becomes reproductively isolated. The group is then considered a new species. What is Hugo? Hugo, also known as the Human Genome Organization, is an international consortium created to coordinate the work of human geneticists around the world. What is the significance of on the origin of species? Charles Darwin, 1809 to 1882, first proposed a theory of evolution. Based on natural selection in his treatise on the origin of species. The publication of On the Origin of Species ushered in a new era in our thinking about the nature of man. The intellectual revolution it caused and the impact it had on man's concept of himself and the world were greater than those caused by the works of Isaac Newton, 1642-1727, and other individuals. The effect was immediate the first edition sold out on the day of publication, November 24, 1859. Origin has been referred to as the book that shook the world. Every modern discussion of man's future, the population explosion, the struggle for existence. The purpose of man and the universe, and man's place in nature rests on Darwin. The work was a product of his analyses and interpretations. Of his findings from his voyages on the HMS Beagle. In Darwin's day the prevailing explanation for organic diversity. Was the story of creation in the book of Genesis in the Bible. 
Origin was the first publication to present scientifically sound, well-organized evidence for the theory of evolution. Darwin's theory was based on natural selection in which the best or fittest individuals survive more often than those who are less fit. If there is a difference in the genetic endowment among these individuals that correlates with fitness, the species will change over time and will eventually resemble more closely. As a group, the fittest individuals. It is a two-step process, the first consists of the production of variation, and the second of the sorting of this variability by natural selection in which the favorable variations tend to be preserved. What is the unique characteristic of connective tissue? The cells of connective tissue are spaced widely apart and are scattered through a non-living extracellular material called a matrix. The matrix may be a liquid, jelly, or solid and varies in the different types of connective tissue. Why are fungi disappearing? Gourmets with a taste for the subtle flavors of fresh. Wild mushrooms are discovering that those delicacies are increasingly hard to find. In Europe, just a few years ago. It was easy to pick a basket of one of the most prized fungi, the apricot chanterelle. However, not only are these mushrooms becoming scarce. The ones that do grow wildly do not grow to the same size they once did. In 1975 it took 50 times more chanterelles to make up 2.2 pounds. 1 kilogram, than it did in 1958. Other fungi are also becoming rare. For example, the average number of fungal species per 120 square yards, 1,000 square meters. In the Netherlands has dropped from 37 to 12. One reason for this decline has been an increase in air pollution. Fungi are more sensitive to air pollution than plants because fungi have no protective covering. Whereas the aerial parts of plants are protected by cuticles and bark. In addition, while plants extract water from soil using their roots, some fungi absorb water directly from the atmosphere, along with the pollution that may be present in the air. Poor air quality contributes to the decline of fungi. Which species of tree are highly resistant to fungal decay and which are highly susceptible? In general, black locust walnut, white oak, cedar and black cherry trees are highly resistant to fungal decay. Species that are highly susceptible to fungal decay include 156 aspen, willow, silver maple and American beech trees. When a plant is said to be double dormant, what does that mean?
Plants that are double dormant require a unique sort of layering or stratification in order for their seeds to germinate. The seeds of these plants must have a period of warmth and moisture followed by a cold spell. Both the seed coat and the seed embryo require this double dormancy if they are to germinate. In nature, this process usually takes two years. Some well-known plants that live the life of double dormancy include lilies, dogwoods, junipers, lilacs, tree peonies, and viburnums. Will two people with the same genes for a particular trait have the same exact manifestation of the disease? Penetrance is the term used to describe the probability that an individual with a given genotype will always demonstrate the matching phenotype. For example, a condition with 100% penetrance will be one where genotype always determines phenotype, 50% penetrance means that there is only a 50 to 50 chance of the genotype producing the characteristic phenotype. Myotonic dystrophy, an autosomal dominant genetic disorder, is an example in which there is reduced penetrance within a pedigree. In other words, some family members may have the trait while others may not. How can the environment affect genes? Some genes are sensitive to temperature. An enzyme that controls the synthesis of black pigment. Melanin in Siamese cats is only active at cool temperatures. The cooler the body part, the darker the pigment. Since the body is warmer than the extremities, it remains lighter in color. During the winter if your Siamese cat goes outdoors, the fur may become darker. Siamese kittens are usually white due to the warmth of the mother's body. What are the three main types of microtomes? The three main types of microtomes are the rocking, the rotary, and the sliding microtome. Each type of microtome has a special sharp steel knife to cut the specimen, which is embedded in a wax block. In a rocking microtome the knife is in a fixed horizontal position. The wax block is attached to the end of an arm pivoted near. The knife end is moved or rocked in an arc past the knife edge. On a rotary microtome the specimen moves up and down in a vertical plane. A large hand wheel in which one rotation produces a complete cutting cycle advances the specimen. A common type of sliding microtome has the specimen mounted on a moving carriage while the knife is fixed. Could the events depicted in Jurassic Park actually happen? In this novel, later adapted into a film, about dinosaur reincarnation. Scientists bring dinosaurs back to life by using dinosaur DNA, 
obtained from insects embedded in fossilized amber. There are several flaws in this scenario. One is that prehistoric mosquitoes were most likely to have digested the dinosaur blood, making the DNA unusable. Also, one would need a complete genome. Not one that has been augmented with amphibian DNA, to genetically reconstruct a dinosaur. The best way that dinosaurs could be recreated would probably be by altering bird DNA. Since dinosaurs and birds are genetically related. What is El Nino? Along the west coast of South America, near the end of each calendar year. A warm current of nutrient poor tropical water moves southward, replacing the cold, nutrient rich surface water. Because this condition frequently occurs around Christmas, local residents call it El Nino. Spanish for child, referring to the Christ child. In most years the warming lasts for only a few weeks. However, when El Nino conditions last for many months, the economic results can be catastrophic. It is this extended episode of extremely warm water that scientists now refer to as El Nino. During a severe El Nino. Large numbers of fishes and marine plants may die. Decomposition of the dead material depletes the water's oxygen supply. Which leads to the bacterial production of huge amounts of smelly hydrogen sulfide. A greatly reduced fish, especially anchovy, harvest affects the world's fish meal supply. Leading to higher prices for poultry and other animals that normally are fed fish meal. Anchovies and sardines are also major food sources for marine mammals such as sea lions and seals. When the food source is in short supply, these animals travel further from their homes in search of food. Not only do many sea lions and seals starve, but also a large proportion of the infant animals die. During the winter of 1997 to 1998 El Nino effects resulted in the second warmest and seventh wettest winter since 1895. Severe weather events included flooding in the U.S. Southeast. Ice storms in the Northeast, flooding in California, and tornadoes in Florida. The 1997 to 1998 event indirectly caused 2,100 deaths and $33 billion in damage globally. How do bacteria reproduce? Bacteria reproduce asexually, by binary fission a process in which one cell divides into two similar cells. First the circular, bacterial DNA replicates. And then a transverse wall is formed by an ingrowth of both plasma membrane and the cell wall. What bird has the biggest wingspan? Three members of the albatross family the wandering albatross, Diomede exculens, the royal albatross, Diomede epomophora, and the Amsterdam island albatross, 
Diomeda am sturdy immensus. Have the greatest wingspan of any bird species with a spread of 8 to 11 feet, 2.5 to 3.3 m. How has centrifugation been used in biological applications? Biologists primarily use centrifugation to isolate and determine the biological properties and functions of subcellular organelles and large molecules. They study the effects of centrifugal forces on cells, developing embryos, and protozoa. These techniques have allowed scientists to determine certain properties about cells. Including surface tension, relative viscosity of the cytoplasm, and the spatial and functional interrelationship of cell organelles when redistributed in intact cells. What are nectaries? Plants secrete a variety of substances from specialized structures called secretory structures. Nectaries are structures that secrete nectar. A sugary compound that attracts insects, birds, or other animals. Most nectaries are associated with flowers and are called floral nectaries. Nectar is 10 to 50% sugar, especially sucrose, glucose, and fructose. Plants usually produce small amounts of nectar, which forces foraging animals to visit several flowers before obtaining a full meal. A single insect or bird can, therefore, pollinate tens or hundreds of plants. What is fermentation? Scientists have theorized that fermentation was the process through which energy was first harvested from organic compounds. Fermentation evolved before Earth's atmosphere contained free oxygen. Aerobic respiration differs from fermentation in that the products of glycolysis enter the Krebs cycle rather than being used to form lactic acid or alcohol. Fermentation must have predated the appearance of oxygen in the atmosphere, which occurred over 2.5 billion years ago. Fermentation is thus an ancient process and occurs normally in microorganisms that live in the absence of oxygen. Which radioisotope is most commonly used for biological specimens? The most widely used radioisotope in autoradiography is tritium, 3H. Tritium allows a resolution of about 1 micrometer with the light. Microscope and close to 0.1 micrometer with the electron microscope. Since hydrogen is common in biological molecules. A wide range of 3H labeled compounds are potentially available for use in autoradiography. 3H amino acids are used for locating newly synthesized proteins, 3-thymidine is used to monitor DNA synthesis.
Ribonucleotides such as 3H-uridine or 3H-citidine are used to localize newly made RNA molecules. And 3H-glucose is used to study the synthesis of polysaccharides. What is the only American canine that can climb trees? The gray fox, Eurocian scenario Argentus, is the only American canine that can climb trees. What are nucleic acids? DNA deoxyribonucleic acid, and RNA, ribonucleic acid, are nucleic acids. Nucleic acids are molecules comprised of monomers known as nucleotides. These molecules may be relatively small, as in the case of certain kinds of RNA. Or quite large, a single DNA strand may have millions of monomer units. Individual nucleotides and their derivatives are important in living organisms. ADP The molecule that transfers energy in cells, is built from a nucleotide, as are a number of other molecules crucial to metabolism. Who is considered the founder of modern conservation? American naturalist John Muir, 1838-1914, is the father of conservation and the founder of the Sierra Club. He fought for the preservation of the Sierra Nevada in California and the creation of Yosemite National Park. He directed most of the Sierra Club's conservation efforts and was a lobbyist for the Antiquities Act which prohibited the removal or destruction of structures of historic significance from federal lands. Another prominent influence was George Perkins Marsh, 1801-1882, a Vermont lawyer and scholar. His book Man and Nature emphasized the mistakes of past civilizations that resulted in destruction of natural resources. As the conservation movement swept through the country in the last three decades of the 19th century, a number of prominent citizens joined. The efforts to conserve natural resources and to preserve wilderness areas. Writer John Burroughs, 1837 to 1921, Forrester Gifford Pinchot, 1865 to 1946. Botanist Charles Sprague Sargent 1841-1927, and editor Robert Underwood Johnson, 1857-1937, were early advocates of conservation. Are mental disorders inherited? Most mental disorders have a genetic component. A study on a large family in 1993 identified a link between a particular type of mental retardation which included frequent aggressive and violent outbursts with a region on the short arm of the X chromosome in some of the males. 
This is one of the few cases in which there appears to be a direct correlation between a single gene defect and a particular type of mental disorder. When was the bald eagle adopted as the national bird of the United States? On June 20, 1782, the citizens of the newly independent United States of America adopted the bald or American eagle as their national emblem. At first the heraldic 268 artists depicted a bird that could have been a member of any of the larger species. But by 1902 the bird portrayed on the seal of the United States of America had assumed its proper white plumage on head and tail. The choice of the bald eagle was not unanimous, Benjamin Franklin, 1706-1790, preferred the wild turkey. Oftentimes a tongue-in-cheek humorist, Franklin thought the turkey a wily but brave, intelligent and prudent bird. He viewed the eagle on the other hand as having a bad moral character and not getting his living honestly. Preferring instead to steal fish from hard-working fish hawks. He also found the eagle a coward who readily flees from the irritating attacks of the much smaller king bird. How is animal behavior studied in the field? Animal behavior is studied by construction of an ethogram, which is a listing and description of all naturally observed behaviors. Behavior can also be studied through the use of manipulative investigations, both in the field and in the laboratory. These behaviors are then categorized. In order to be objective, all observers must record behavior patterns in exactly the same way. Observations can then be statistically analyzed. How do cells respond to steroid hormones? Progesterone, estrogen, testosterone, and glucocorticoids are steroid hormones that are lipid based signaling molecules. After entering a target cell, the steroid hormone binds to a receptor protein and starts a cascade of events that ultimately activates, turns on, or inhibits, turns off a specific set of genes. Why will my dog play fetch but not my cat? Domestication occurred differently for cats and dogs. While dogs came to work closely with humans, relying on them for food and shelter, cats maintained a more distant relationship. A dog plays fetch because it is an extension of the cooperative working hunting relationship she has with humans. While the cat has no such relationship. What is the value of fossils to the study of evolution?
Fossils are the preserved remains of once living organisms. The value of fossils comes not only from the information they give us about the structures of those animals. The placement of common fossils in the geologic layers also gives researchers a method for dating other, lesser known, samples. Can animals commit murder? If murder is defined as the killing of members of the same species, then some species do indeed commit murder. This could be the result of an altercation to determine dominance within the group or a battle over a resource like food or a mate. Animals, including lions and langur monkeys, have also been known to commit infanticide death killing of infants. In these cases infanticide has been linked to the arrival of a new alpha male in the group. Scientists surmise that by killing the infants in the group, who were fathered by some other male, the new alpha can bring their mothers into sexual receptivity faster and thus ensure a chance for reproductive success. What is a bug, biologically speaking? The biological meaning of the word bug is significantly more restrictive than in common usage. People often refer to all insects as bugs, even using the word to include such organisms as bacteria and viruses as well as glitches in computer programs. In the strictest biological sense, a bug is a member of the order Hemiptera also called true bugs. Members of Hemiptera include bed bugs, squash bugs, clinch bugs, stink bugs, and water striders. How are chromosomes assembled? Chromosomes are assembled on a scaffold of proteins, hist ones, that allow DNA to be tightly packed. There are five major types of hist ones, all of which have a positive charge. The positive charges of the hist ones attract the negative charges on the phosphates of DNA. Thus holding the DNA in contact with the hist ones. These thicker strands of DNA and proteins are called chromatin. Chromatin is then packed to form the familiar structure of a chromosome. During mitosis, chromosomes acquire characteristic shapes that allow them to be counted and identified. What are producers and consumers? Producers and consumers are terms used to describe the different roles played by species within ecosystems. Producers are those who fix energy that is, they take energy from one source and convert it into a form their biomass, that makes it accessible to others within the system, the consumers. Consumer levels are numbered according to their reliance on producers as a main source of energy. 
so primary consumers are those that rely heavily on producers, while secondary and tertiary and even quaternary, consumers exploit other consumers as their preferred energy sources. How does water move up a tree? Water is carried up a tree through the xylem tissue in a process called transpiration. Constant evaporation from the leaf creates a flow of water from root to shoot. The roots of a tree absorb the vast majority of water that a tree needs. The properties of cohesion and adhesion allow the water to move up a tree regardless of its height. Cohesion allows the individual water molecules to stick together in one continuous stream. Adhesion permits the water molecules to adhere to the cellulose molecules in the walls of xylem cells. When the water reaches a leaf, water is evaporated. Thus allowing additional water molecules to be drawn up through the tree. What are the major classes of plant hormones? The five major classes of plant hormones are auxins, gibberellins, cytokinins, ethylene, and abscisic acid. Is it possible to eliminate fat cells permanently? Current evidence suggests that the original number of fat cells in any area of the body is controlled by one's genetic makeup. People who lose fat mass through diet and exercise do not lose fat cells. Rather, the fat cells atrophy, although fat cells may be removed by liposuction. Studies have suggested that liposuction does not effectively control weight. Surgical removal of fat cells only removes about 10% or less of fat cells in the body. What are more recently discovered chemical regulators of plant growth? Scientists have recently discovered that plants also react to growth. Regulators other than the five major classes of plant hormones. When did the last passenger pigeon die? At one time, 200 years ago, the passenger pigeon, Ectopis migratorius, was the world's most abundant bird. Although the species was found only in eastern North America, it had a population of between 3 and 5 billion birds, 25% of the North American land bird population. Overhunting caused a chain of events that reduced their numbers below minimum threshold for viability. In the 1890s several states passed laws to protect the pigeon, but it was too late. The last known wild bird was shot in 1900. The last passenger pigeon, named Martha, died on September 1, 1914, in the Cincinnati Zoo.
Is coffee native to Colombia and Brazil? Although premium coffee is today grown in the mountains of Central and South America, the coffee tree, Coffea arabica, is native to Ethiopia. Coffee was widely used in the Arab world before its introduction to European society in the 17th century. North and South American coffee plantations were started in the 18th century. What are the major parts of vascular plants? Vascular plants consist of roots, shoots, and leaves. The root system penetrates the soil and is below ground. The shoot system consists of the stem and the leaves. What are the functions of microtubules? Microtubules help determine the cell shape, move chromosomes during cell division, and provide the internal structure of cilia and flagella. What is mycorrhiza? Symbiosis is the close association of two or more different organisms. One type of symbiosis is known as mutualism. Defined as an association that is advantageous to both parties. The most common and possibly the most important mutualistic. Symbiotic relationship in the plant kingdom is known as mycorrhiza. The word mycorrhiza is derived from the Greek words mykes, meaning fungus, and rhiza, meaning root. Mycorrhiza is a spechalized, symbiotic association between the roots of plants and fungi that occurs in the vast majority of plants both wild and cultivated. In a mycorrhizal relationship, the fungi assist their host plants by increasing the plant's ability to capture water and essential elements such as phosphorus, zinc, manganese, and copper from the soil, and transfer them into the plant's roots. The fungi also provide protection against attack by pathogens and nematodes. In return for these benefits, the fungal partner receives carbohydrates amino acids, and vitamins essential for its growth directly from the host plant. Basidiomycetes, mushrooms, bracket fungi, etc., are the fungal. Mycorrhizal partners of trees and other woody plants. Zygomycetes, molds, etc., are the fungal partners of non-woody plants. It has been estimated that mycorrhizal fungi amount to 15% of the total weight of the world's plant roots. What is transcription? Transcription is the synthesis of an mRNA strand from a DNA template sequence, commonly known as a gene. 
The mRNA is then used as a pattern for building a polypeptide. In the home setting, does the use of antibacterial soap reduce the risk of infection? Research has uncovered little evidence to support claims that the use of antibacterial soap in a domestic setting reduces the risk of infection or prevents infections. These residue producing antibacterials help control the spread of infection in healthcare settings, such as hospitals and nursing homes. When was the term dinosaur first used? The term dinosaur was first used by Richard Owen. 1804 to 1892, in 1841 in his report on British fossil reptiles. The term, meaning fearful lizard, was used to describe the group of large extinct reptiles whose fossil remains had been found by many collectors. How does the motion exhibited by cilia and flagella differ from one another? Cilia move back and forth, causing their motion to be perpendicular to their axis of direction. Flagella undulate in a whip-like motion, moving in the same direction as their axis. Where is epithelial tissue found? Epithelial tissue, also called epithelium, from the Greek ap, meaning on, and the li, meaning nipple, covers every surface, both external and internal, of the body. The outer layer of the skin, the epidermis, is one example of epithelial tissue. Other examples of epithelial tissue are the lining of the lungs, kidney tubules, and the inner surfaces of the digestive system, including the esophagus, stomach, and intestines. Epithelial tissue also includes the lining of parts of the respiratory system. What is a trans fat? The term trans fat refers to the arrangement of hydrogen atoms around the carbon backbone of the fatty acid. A trans fatty acid is a molecule that has a carbon backbone with hydrogen atoms attached in a manner that is not normally found in nature. Most naturally occurring fatty acids have their hydrogen arranged in the cis form. In trans fats, some of these hydrogens are attached on opposite sides of the fatty acid 20 molecule in what is known as a trans, as opposed to cis, formation. What are the differences between non-residue producing antibacterials and residue producing antibacterials?
non-residue producing antibacterials quickly destroy bacteria, rapidly disappear from the surface. They were applied due to evaporation or chemical breakdown, and leave no active residue behind. Examples of non-residue producing antibacterials are alcohols, aldehydes. Gaseous substances such as formaldehyde, and halogen releasing compounds such as chlorine and peroxides. In contrast, the disinfecting action of residue producing antibacterials is prolonged. Because they leave long acting residues on the surfaces to which they are applied. Examples of residue producing antibacterials are unallied, such as trichlocarbon. Bisphenols such as triclosan, heavy metal compounds such as silver and mercury, and quaternary ammonium compounds such as benzalkonium chloride. What are the major features shown by all vertebrates? Animals in the subphylum vertebrata are distinguished from other chordates by several features. Most prominent is the endoskeleton of bone or cartilage. Centering around the vertebral column, spine or backbone. Composed of separate vertebrae, showing internal metamerism. A vertebral column combines flexibility with enough strength to support even a large body. Other vertebrate features include, 1, complex dorsal kidneys, 2, a tail, lost via evolution in some groups. Extending between the anus, 3, a closed circulatory systems with a single, well-developed heart. Four a brain at the anterior end of the spinal cord, with 10 or more pairs of cranial nerves. 5. A cranium, skull, protecting the brain. 6. Paired sex organs in both males and females. And 7. Two pairs of movable appendages fins in the fishes, which evolved into legs in land vertebrates. What are some diseases associated with inadequate dietary intake of protein? There are several diseases associated with insufficient protein intake. Marasmus, a condition caused by chronic malnutrition occurs most often among children 6 to 18 months of age. The arms and legs of children with marasmus are described as having a matchstick-like appearance. Quashi orker, another disease caused by malnutrition, derives its name from a Ghanaian phrase. That describes the change a firstborn child often undergoes when a second child is born. Quashi orker sufferers typically consume enough calories but are Protein deficient usually a result of being weaned at too early an age. Quashi orker causes an enlargement of the liver and a buildup of fluid within the body. Particularly in the belly. Children with quashi orker tend to have plump looking limbs and distended bellies but the deceptive enlargement is caused by swelling, not body fat. What are the major groups of organisms in the kingdom Protista?
there is little agreement among taxonomists on how to classify the protists. But they may be conveniently divided into seven general groups that share certain characteristics of locomotion, nutrition, and reproduction. What roles do enzymes actually play? Enzymatic reactions can build up or break down specific molecules. The specific molecule an enzyme works on is the substrate. The molecule that results from the reaction is the product. How are plant cells able to use light to produce sugars? Plant cells use chloroplasts to convert light energy to chemical energy, sugar. These chloroplasts, which are likely to have originated as free living bacteria, use the energy contained in UV radiation to raise electrons to higher energy states through the process of photosynthesis. The energized electrons are used to build and rearrange a number of different molecules. Some of these eventually become glucose, which in turn can be used to produce sucrose, also known as table sugar. Who first discovered the link between genetics and metabolic disorders? Archibald Garrod, 1857-1936, was a British physician who became interested in a rare but harmless disease called alcaptanuria. A unique characteristic of this condition is that the patient's urine turns black when exposed to air. Previously, physicians thought the disorder was due to a bacterial infection. However, Garrett observed that the disorder was more common in children of first cousin. Marriages and followed the Mendelian description of an autosomal recessive disease. Garrod, a follower of the fledgling science of biochemistry, suspected that the urine turned dark because patients lacked the enzyme to break down the protein that caused the urine to darken. He referred to alcaptanuria as an inborn error of metabolism. Unfortunately, very few people understood metabolic pathways at that time. So his contributions remained largely unnoticed. By the 1950s his work was verified, earning Garrett the title of father of chemical genetics. What are the differences between prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells? Eukaryotic cells are much more complex than prokaryotic cells. Having compartmentalized interiors and membrane-bound organelles within their cytoplasm. The major feature of a eukaryotic cell is its membrane-bound nucleus. Which compartmentalizes the activities of the genetic information from other types of cellular metabolism. Generalized prokaryotic cell. Why are dilution techniques important to biologists?
dilution techniques provide simple and accurate procedures to 1. Change the concentration of a solution. 2. Indirectly weigh a solute whose weight is significantly below the usual limits of analytical balances, and 3. Determine the quantity of bacteria in a culture. RNA When was RNA discovered? By the 1940s it was known that there was another kind of nucleic acid other than DNA, this one called RNA. Phoebus Levine, 1869-1940, a Russian-born chemist. Further refined the work of Albrecht Kossel, 1853-1927. Kossel was awarded a Nobel Prize in 1910 for determining the composition of nucleon. At the time of Kossel's work, it was not clear that DNA and RNA were different substances. In 1909 Levine isolated the carbohydrate portion of nucleic acid from yeast and identified it as the pentose sugar ribose. In 1929 he succeeded in identifying the carbohydrate portion of the nucleic acid isolated from the thymus of an animal. It was also a pentose sugar, but it differed from ribose in that it lacked one oxygen atom. Levine called the new substance deoxyribose. These studies define the chemical differences between DNA and RNA by their sugar molecules. How does a ribosome participate in protein synthesis? The ribosome serves as the site of translation. This combination of RNA and protein is a meeting place for mRNA and tRNA. Why do the leaves of the mimosa plant close in response to touch? When a leaf of the mimosa plant also known as the sensitive plant is touched, a minute electric current is generated that is quickly transmitted to the cells at the base of each leaflet. As soon as the signal arrives to the cells, the water contained in the cells is released. Due to loss of water, the leaves collapse downward. What is special about the spores of leptosporangiate ferns? Leptosporangiate ferns are the most common ferns in North America. The sporangia of leptosporangiate ferns arise from a single surface cell, are relatively small, and have a delicate stalk and a thin sporangial wall. The small number of spores per leptosporangium is a multiple of four varying between 16 and 512, most often 16 or 32, in homosporous species. Each plant is able to produce millions of spores because of the large number of sporangia per saurus and the enormous number of sari per leaf. One mature plant of the species Thlypterus dentate can produce more than 50 million spores each season.
What is a bioinvader? A bioinvader is an exotic organism usually introduced into an ecosystem accidentally. These bioinvaders are non-native plants and often overwhelm the native species. Examples of bioinvaders include the kudzu vine. Kudzu was first introduced in the 1930s by the United States. Soil Conservation Service for a Good Purpose to Control Erosion Kudzu now grows uncontrolled in the southeastern United States, pulling down power lines and killing trees. Other bioinvader species include zebra mussels, Great Lakes, Purple Loose Strife, Northern United States and Canada. And the Asian Longhorned Beetle, first reported in New York but now spreading into the Midwest. What is the difference between porpoises and dolphins? Marine dolphins, family Delphinidae, and porpoises, family Phocinidae, together comprise about 40 species. The chief differences between dolphins and porpoises occur in the snout and teeth. True dolphins have a beak-like snout and cone-shaped teeth. True porpoises have a rounded snout and flat or spade-shaped teeth. What is anthrax? Bacillus anthracis, the etiologic agent of anthrax, is a large, gram-positive, non-modal, spore-forming, bacterial rod. The three virulence factors of B. anthracis are edematous toxins, lethal toxins, and capsular antigens. There are three major, clinical forms of human anthrax, cutaneous, inhalational, and gastrointestinal. If left untreated, anthrax in all forms can lead to septicemia and death. How is the Cambrian explosion related to Evodivo? Mutations in the suite of genes that control developmental processes, known as the Hox genes, would have caused the radical changes in the body structure of animals that occurred during the Cambrian explosion. These genes have been identified in every major animal group, both vertebrates and invertebrates. So it seems likely that they date back to the Precambrian period. Thus, the mechanisms that control the development of the animal embryo, Devo, also probably played a role in the evolution of animals as a group, thus the term Evodivo. What happens to proteins as we age? A variety of molecular changes typify aging. For example, there is a slowdown in production of the proteins. Collectively known as collagen, that maintain the skin integrity. As the amount of collagen in skin decreases, the skin loses elasticity and begins to sag, bag, and wrinkle. 
the loss of elasticity can be demonstrated by gently pinching a fold of skin on the back of the hand of differently aged people. The skin of young children will immediately return to form when released. While that of an elderly person will take longer. What is a gene chip? A gene chip is part of the process of microarray profiling, it is also known as a biochip or a DNA chip. It is about the size of a postage stamp and is based on a glass wafer. Holding as many as 400,000 tiny cells. Each tiny cell can hold DNA from a different human gene and can perform thousands of biological reactions in a few seconds. These chips can be used by pharmaceutical companies to discover what genes are involved in various disease processes. They can also be used to type single nucleotide polymorphisms, SNPs, which are base pair differences that are found approximately every 500 to 1000 base pairs in DNA. There are more than 3 million SNPs in the human genome. They are very important in DNA typing because they represent about 98% of all DNA polymorphisms. What is X-ray crystallography? X-ray crystallography, also called X-ray diffraction, is used to determine crystal structures by interpreting the diffraction patterns formed when X-rays are scattered by the electrons of atoms in crystalline solids. X-rays are sent through a crystal to reveal the 534 pattern in which the molecules and atoms contained within the crystal are arranged. Who invented the compound microscope? The principle of the compound microscope, in which two or more lenses are arranged to form an enlarged image of an object, occurred independently, at about the same time, to more than one person. Certainly many opticians were active in the construction of telescopes at the end of the 16th century. Especially in Holland. So it is likely that the idea of the microscope may have occurred to several of them independently. In all probability the date may be placed within the period 1590 to 1609. And the credit should go to three spectacle makers in Holland. Hans Janssen, his son Zacharias, 1580-1638, and Hans Lippershey. 1570-1619, have all been cited at various times as deserving chief credit. An Englishman, Robert Hooke, 1635-1703, was the first to make the best use of a compound microscope. And his book Micrographia, published in 1665, contains some of the most beautiful drawings of microscopic observations ever made. What does pH mean when applied to soil?
literally, pH stands for potential of hydrogen and is the term used by soil scientists to represent the hydrogen ion concentration in a soil sample. The relative alkalinity acidity is commonly expressed in terms of the symbol pH. The neutral point in the scale is 7. Soil testing below 7 is said to be acidic, soil testing above pH 7 is alkaline. The pH values are based on logarithms with a base of 10. Thus, a soil testing pH 5 is 10 times as acidic as soil testing pH 6. While a soil testing pH 4 is 100 times as acidic as soil testing pH 6. Do all starfishes, or sea stars, have five arms? Starfishes, or sea stars, are members of the class Asteroidea. Their bodies consist of a central disc from which radiate from five to more than twenty arms or rays. Are freshwater clams an endangered group? Although freshwater clams are found on every continent except Antarctica, they are now considered one of the most jeopardized groups of animals in the world. Approximately 270 species belong to the family Unionidae, found in North America. A total of 72% of our 270 native mussel species are listed as recently extinct. Endangered, threatened, or of special concern due to human impact on aquatic habitat, commercial harvesting. The introduction of carp, water pollution, and the invasion of zebra mussels. What is meant by a jumping gene? A jumping gene is a gene that can move from one location to another in a chromosome or can even jump from one chromosome to another. Another name for a jumping gene is a transposon. Do all birds fly? No. Among the flightless birds, the penguins and the ratites are the best known. Ratites include emus, kiwis, ostriches, rheas, and cassowaries. They are called ratites because they lack a keel on the breastbone. All of these birds have wings but lost their power to fly millions of years ago. Many birds that live isolated on oceanic islands, for example, the great auk, apparently became flightless in the absence of predators and the consequent gradual disuse of their wings for escape. Is aggressive behavior inherited? Because it is difficult to characterize a phenotype for aggression. More research is needed before specific genes are linked to aggressive behavior.
How do fish swimming in a school change their direction simultaneously? The movements of a school of fish, which confuse predators, happen because the fish detect pressure changes in the water. The detection system, called the lateral line, is found along each side of the fish's body. Along the line are clusters of tiny hairs inside cups filled with a jelly-like substance. If a fish becomes alarmed and turns sharply, it causes a pressure wave in the water around it. This wave pressure deforms the jelly in the lateral line of nearby fish. The deformation moves the hairs that trigger nerves. And a signal is sent to the brain telling the fish to turn. Which mammal has the shortest gestation period? Which one has the longest period? Gestation is the period of time between fertilization and birth in oviparous animals. The shortest gestation period known among mammals is 12 to 13 days, shared by three marsupials. The American or Virginian opossum, Didelphys marsupialis, the rare water opossum, or Yapak, Chironectes minimus. Of Central and Northern South America, and the Eastern native cat, Dossi urus viverinus, of Australia. The young of each of these marsupials are born while still immature. And complete their development in the ventral pouch of their mother. While 12 to 13 days is the average, the gestation period is sometimes as short as 8 days. The longest gestation period for a mammal is that of the African elephant. Loxodonta africana, with an average of 660 days and a maximum of 760 days. What is epigenetics? Just as the term epidermis refers to the layer of the skin above, or beyond. The dermis, the term epigenetics describes non-genetic causes of a phenotype. An example is genetic imprinting. What is the origin of the name Hydra? Hydra, a well-known member of phylum Nidaria is a tiny 0.4 in or 1 cm in length, organism found in freshwater ponds. It exists as a single polyp that sits on a basal disc that it uses to glide around. It can also move by somersaulting. It usually has 6 to 10 tentacles, which it uses to capture food. Hydras reproduce both sexually and asexually, budding. Hydras are named after the multi-headed monster of Greek mythology. That was able to grow two new heads for each head cut off. When a hydra is cut into several pieces. Each piece is able to regrow all the missing parts and become a whole animal.